Hello and welcome to Bike Social. This is Eichmerz, the annual Milan motorcycle show. We're going to speak to all the major manufacturers to bring you the lowdown on the top bikes for 2019. Well, welcome to the Shark booth here at Eichmo. We're with three-time MotoGP world champion, Jorge Lorenzo. Jorge, welcome to Bike Social. Thanks for joining us. Thank first things first, I've got to ask you about your injury, of course. It's natural. Uh, how, are you, how is your recuperation? Well, it's, it's, it's coming better. Obviously, it uh, has been more, more slow than I, than I imagined, I expected. But I've been very lucky uh, because I, I injured myself just in the extra European races, so I lose five races, uh, six races without any point. Very unlucky, very unlucky situation, but uh, now that I got operation, the atroscopy, now the, the, the wrist is recovering quite fast, so I think in Valencia probably I wouldn't be, I, I will not be 100%, but I think 90%, 90 so I will, I will be able to, to compete. You're still able to try, of course. Uh, so you've had a season of highs and lows. You've had three wins, same as your teammate, but also you've mentioned already you had so many races without scoring points. How do you feel as it's been as a development season for you, as a competitive season? I think, uh, in general, season has been quite unconstant. Ups and downs, so, so many, no? so many zeros, so many some mistakes also. But for the opposite, uh, I also won three times. I've been very fast, finally, with the Ducati. I, I understood the bike and I, I could uh, push at the maximum and get, got some victories on both positions. So, yeah, very unconstant season, but finally I achieved what I wanted to, to do. That was being very competitive with, uh, with another bike, with the Ducati. Very, very special bike, very difficult bike. But finally we, we made it and, yeah, unlucky at the, at the end of the year. But anyway, in general, I, I am very proud of the season and my speed, so it has been a, a good season. I think one of the transitions for us, the fans, this year has seen your personality shining through your social media as well. Uh, is this a decision you took? You wanted to become closer to your fans? Certainly with the, the recent tweet praising Valentino and at the last round. No, just, just the way it is, no? Uh, when you grow up and you evolve yourself, you change. It's normal, no? Everyone changes. Uh, everyone improves in some areas. Sometimes you get worse, <laughs> but uh, normally you get better in, in most of the, of the areas. And, uh, probably I, I became a little bit more, more, more open, no? more, uh, and I understood, understood certain things that probably when, when I was younger I didn't. I didn't so, uh, but I've always been very honest. That's one of my better and worst things in my personality. I've been very honest, very direct, and I always say what I think, and uh, I think uh, I thought at that time that Valentino make a, a great race some days ago, and I, I just wrote it in, in Twitter. Sure. So he was so constant, impressed me very much, because he was 10 or 15 laps in the same tenth. It's very difficult to get with a motorcycle in a racetrack like uh, more than two minutes. So he, he made it and, and was, was just the, an honest opinion and uh, was, was my truth. No? Perfect. Can we talk about the shark helmet as well? Certainly the one in front of you is your, uh, a, a special edition from yeah. your uh, Catalonia victory. But on your race helmet, you've got the, uh, the aerofoil at the back here. This is your design, correct? The this is the winter, the winter test. This is the winter test with the spoiler. The yeah. first time that uh, this spoiler is, um, is in the market. So people now can uh, get benefit of, of a better aerodynamic that we are using MotoGP. So yeah, uh, when I arrived in, Ch in Shark, uh, helmet was amazing. It was uh, so good because uh, I made a test during one day with a street bike trying all the all kind of helmets, all the brands, and finally the one who, who I prefer was the Shark helmet in terms of uh, safety, com comfortability and ambition, especially vision. The vision was so so big and so so clear. And I just signed with them and from from then on I I start thinking about what we, we had to improve and one of the areas I wanted to improve was the aerodynamic because we didn't have any kind of a spoiler. So we, we introduced this spoiler at the, at the mid-2016. Uh, so I used for the first time in Mugello Grand Prix. I won the race. So it was a nice uh, debut for the, for the spoiler. Of course. And we can't go without talking about this beautiful design of your special Catalonia helmet. Could you just talk, to talk us uh, through this graffiti style? It's so, it stands out so much. There's so many messages on here too. 
Yeah, you know, um, I've been always a big fan of the fluor colors. So I love, for example, the cold play style that they have in some, some years ago when they, they just launched the, the old disc. They, they launched it with a lot of fluor colors yeah. and fluor style of, uh, of that band. So I wanted to do so something inspired by, by that style uh, on the helmet. So that's why in 2013 I launched for the first time the graffiti helmet. And then some years ago, some years later with, uh, with Shark, we remastered this kind of style with a, a completely different design and, 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 and colors. And we finally arrived this this graphic, another graffiti helmet, uh, another different kind of style, and I think uh, the result is, is so nice. So many poignant messages on there, especially with the little heart from your pets. Uh, yeah, it's a great yeah. test. Super, we uh, wish you all the best for Valencia and also for next season and your new challenge. So thank you for joining thank us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good